What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So back with an update video from an issue I talked about a couple weeks ago. So I'll link to the full video in the notes down below. Basically what happened was SketchUp released a fix to the clipping plane issue, which is an issue where sometimes the SketchUp camera would clip out geometry on your screen. I don't want to get super in depth in it in this video, uh, but basically what would happen is the camera depth wouldn't adjust properly on larger models. And so things would get kind of clipped out and you couldn't really see them and it made things hard to work with. So they released a fix which would reset the camera distances when you switched over to parallel projection mode. So the problem with that though is it also broke a functionality that a lot of people were using to quickly create interior elevations inside of SketchUp. It was used for other things too, but it was basically used to create a quick elevation without having to add a bunch of section planes. So this uh, was a functionality that a lot of people that create like architectural plans were using and it was kind of a little bit of an issue. So I made a video talking about it. It was also talked about in the SketchUp forums. And so new update as of this morning, you can now download the new version of SketchUp and they have fixed this issue. So I really like making videos like this where some people said, hey, this kind of broke a functionality that we're using and SketchUp took a look at it. They said, hey, totally get it. Uh, they, take, they took a look and they found a way to fix the issue. So big thanks to SketchUp for looking into this issue. I really appreciate it. Um, I think a lot of other people will as well. Well. So I've got this example model inside of SketchUp and we're going to use the position camera tool the same way that we would have back in SketchUp 2021 to create an elevation. And remember the way that that worked is you would switch your camera into parallel projection mode and what you would do is you would use the position camera tool in order to clip out the geometry behind it. So what happens is you click on the position camera tool and then you would find a spot and you would click and drag your camera like this. Well, what it would do is it would put your camera in this location right here and it would clip out everything behind the camera. Well, remember in the new update, what it was doing is it wouldn't do this. It would only show the geometry that was behind the camera. That was because they were using this to fix the clipping plane issue. It was basically resetting the field of view of the camera so things weren't getting clipped out in parallel projection mode. However, notice how now I can zoom in and out like this, I can also pan and I have my elevation view, which is something that we've used so that we don't have to use a lot of section planes inside of SketchUp in order to create those interior section views. So um, one of the cool things about this is they kept the clipping plane fix in here. What they did is as soon as you orbit, so if you click and hold, your uh, middle mouse button in orbit like this, notice how what it does is it removes the clipping from the camera, which I have zero problem with in this situation because the only time that I really need this is when I'm trying to clip out the view behind it. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to create those either straight up and down views or the elevation views. So let's say we went to another room like this one, for example, I can still use this in order to get an elevation view of that room. So I'm gonna click and hold on the red axis. Notice how everything clips out like this. And I can still zoom and pan in order to create those elevations that I wanna create. And if, I've ha if I'm having trouble with the clipping plane, all I do is I just orbit out of it and it's going to reset the camera clipping. So for those of you that have the camera clipping issue, you can still use this in order to fix that. So for example, if you were to just toggle into parallel projection mode from perspective mode, so I'm gonna do a zoom extends right here. Let's say you were having camera clipping right here, which I'm not, but say that you were. To fix that, all you would do is just toggle into parallel projection mode and it would remove the clipping issue. If you were trying to create elevations using the tool, then you could do that as well. So again, just clip, click and drag, and it's gonna clip out everything behind your camera. As soon as you orbit, then it's going to reset the camera clipping. So again, I'm happy with this because the people that don't the people that don't use this in order to create elevations probably won't even know that it's there. Um, the people that do use the tool to create the elevations will still be able to do that. So I think it's a great solution. I'm fairly happy with it. So there is also a forum post on the SketchUp community forum about this fix. So a uh, big thanks to Colin for kind of like jumping in on this one. Um, um, if you spent any time on the forums, you know that Colin is super helpful. So big thanks to him and for the team at SketchUp for at least getting this kind of plugged in and listening to the fact that it was causing an issue. I'd love to hear from you in my comments if you have, if you're good with this fix. If you're not, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.